What are you eating? Stella! What are you eating? Stella. Stella! Say what's up. Oh, hello. Hello, dog. What's up, y'all? Just chilling, enjoying this nice weather. It is super, super warm here in Southern Oregon. Wanted to uh, hop on Instagram Live, even though it terrifies me and I hate it, to just say what's up and to uh, talk to you guys, see what you're up to. It's been a little bit since we've uh, done really anything with our socials, and so yeah, here I am. Um, record's done, it's getting mastered right now, and then soon enough we'll be releasing some singles, getting ready for this Disrupt Tour, it's gonna be awesome, and that's pretty much all the news I got, so... If you guys want to ask some questions, I think Nick's going to jump in here in a little bit and do this with me so that it's not so scary. Uh, let's see what we got going on. Damn, we got 1,484 people in here already. That's crazy. It's a lot of folks. Um, let's see. Hi, friends. Yo, I'm excited to watch Sum 41, Thrice, Circus Survive, The Used. It's going to be insane this summer. I'm excited to play, but I'm also excited to watch some of those bands because a couple of those are my favorites. And also, when we do the start or we do the uh, Warp Tour date, the starting line is going to be a part of that, and that's one of my favorite bands of all time. So I'm excited to watch them. Is anybody else going to some Warp Tour dates this summer? Oh damn, Dwayne, what up, dude? How are you, my man? I'm just waiting on Nicholas. Martine to come in here. Does the whole album fit into a particular musical genre? I'd say the new album fits into a hard rock genre. Uh, I was listening to the whole thing today. Um, Nick, what do you mean you don't know how to join with me? You send a request. You got to update your Instagram, my dude. Um... Yeah, the whole record is just kind of like a lot heavier. I mean, I'd say that there's probably two ballad -y songs on the record, but everything else is very upbeat, fast, and heavy. So how do I add you, Nick? Um, let's see here. I'm so bad at this stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. Hello, Copeland. Do you want to say hi to everybody real quick? Hi. What do you think the new? Do you think the new album is pretty good? Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. We'll see you next time. My dog is great. Thank you. Dad. Does anybody know how to add Nick to this? Like, how can I do it on my end? What Copeland? Uh, you know how I got here? How'd you get here? I climbed over the two fences. Why'd you do that? So it's a quicker way. It's quicker than walking out a door? Yeah. Nick, get off and then get back on and then just send a request. And I'll look for it in the comments. Like, do, like, get out of your Instagram and then go back into your Instagram and then come on my live and then send a request. There's two faces, click it and add him. Okay, I see the two faces. Go live with no direction, add. We're waiting for Nick. Thank you friends for helping me that with that. I'm really bad at this kind of stuff. Hi. Hi. Nick! Yeah. Hey. Yes. I was gonna ask everybody to, to guess what your hair color would be before you hopped on. It's still yellow. Still yellow. Are you getting it done before the new record comes out? Um, probably. I don't know what color to do. I'm I'm kind of missing uh blue. I'm kind of missing red. So we're gonna yeah. see. I like the blue. I haven't we're... seen. Wait, did you do red before? Um, I've had red before. I had like. Hey, Copeland. Hi. Hi. 
Um, I had like crazy bright red hair for a long time. You know what would be oh, crazy oh, is oh, if oh. you just went just straight natural brown, dude. Natural brown? <laughs> but my hair is naturally black. <laughs> Sorry, natural black. <laughs> Copeland, look, our hair blends together. It's like the same color. You're like one person. <laughs> Copeland, you look like you're a teenager now. You you get older and older every single time I see you. I'm going to be seven soon. Yeah. 17? Uh, you're going to be 17 soon. You're going to be 17 or 7. Yeah. Seven. I heard What are we going to do for your birthday? Go to Disneyland. Yeah, we are. Going to Disneyland. Oh, can we go? I want to go, Copeland. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Okay, go. <laughs> Okay. You're going to have so much fun. It's do one you of my even favorite. live by there? I do live by there. Then go. <laughs> <laughs> mm, thank you. All right, Nick, let's talk about this new record a little bit. You got um, any thoughts on it? Um, I haven't listened to it yet. I don't want to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually listened to it this morning all the way through. I listened to it quite a bit. Um, I don't know what to say to not, like, give anything away. I know. Um, <laughs> See, my, prob my problem my the problem with the record is that I feel like there's too many good songs on it. Like, really I know good. that sounds silly to say, but yes, I can't pick a favorite song because, like, every day it changes. It's a, it's a very cliche thing to say, right? Yeah. Like, every song is, is good, but sincerely, I feel the same way. Like, every song really is that good so my favorites change daily yeah but it's a good thing and but... it's kind of unfair because we've had it for so long and I, I feel like uh i feel like i know every song by heart you know like lyrically and, it looks and like you know, have... <laughs> you're gonna need to dude. yeah it looks like i have lipstick on it does look like you have lipstick on Ooh, copeland do you like our new record yeah if you want to watch me right on my scooter you game. <laughs> what'd you say so if you want to watch me ride on my scooter, you can. I do right, want to. So that's way, that's way more exciting. Place. That's way you. more exciting than our record. Wow. Look at you. That's really good. I don't even think I could do that. My balance is terrible. You know what? You should go put a helmet on, though. <laughs> yes, you should. Safety first. <laughs> Safety first. So how, how often do you listen to our did record? Did you see me do that? I did see it. You're really, really good at that. I was saying that I cannot do that. So um, I listen awesome. to it. I listened to it like twice today because um, I have to drive back and forth from my house to pick up multiple children from school. Uh -huh. So usually every time I get in the car, that's the record of choice to listen to. Yeah. Like Kanye West. You know, like the, there's that one comedy bit where they go over to his house and he just listens to his own stuff. I've heard that's true. I heard that Lil Wayne is the same, too. He only listens to his stuff, and that's it. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing now, too. I'm just listening to our stuff. That's it. Well, you ha we have to because we need to know how to play the songs. Because I think we're going to play a couple new songs this summer, yeah? I think so. I think so. I, think so. I can almost say I know. At the end of our um, driveway. Oh, you got the mail? Uh-huh. Thank you. Over. You should you actually want me to go check the mail. No, the mail's been checked. Copeland should do um, Instagram Live every single day of her life because she's that. She could, she could do it for like two hours and not get bored. She'd be yeah. like, so this is my dollhouse and these <laughs> are my toys and what do you think I should change their clothes to? And See, that's, that's entertaining. She made a boy doll for me out of one of her girl LOL dolls. What's the doll's name? Coconut Katie. No, what is the doll's name that I named? Um, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> He's a SoundCloud rapper. That's so, that's so good. I love it. Yeah. What else are you doing today? Um, I have to go get my grandmother is moving back to like Orange County, so I have to drive to her house to get Copeland's old crib out of her garage because we were kind of storing it there for a while. Gotcha. So I got to go get that. Will you find the dog? She's probably in the neighbor's house. I love that we're, I, I just completely forgot that we were on Instagram Live. You thought we were just FaceTiming? Yeah, this is like what we do though, because we just, this is what we talk about. Just like, no, we'll be like, that. yeah, it's boring shit. Yeah. I'm currently reading this. Yeah, how many are you in now? So this is number five. You're just going through all the books? I've never read it before. 
So I'm on uh, Order of the Phoenix, and then I've got the uh, Deathly Hallow books after this. And that's it. Somebody said they're excited for your much love stuff to drop. I'm very excited. It drops on Friday. This nice. is me. This is me plugging it hard. What do you yeah. What do you What do you have coming out? Is it? I saw you have a hoodie. Do you have some t-shirts too? I got t-shirts too, and some other little uh, trinkets that you will see on Friday. But I'm really nice. stoked. It took me quite a while to get to this point. I'm really stoked it's finally coming out, and I'm gonna hook you up, dude. Thanks, dude. But that's all you I have to wear. So anytime you know, I see you, that's all you're allowed to wear, dude. Yeah, I will. I'll wear it like a billboard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> except for I need I need to be the opposite. I need a sweatshirt that says much hate on it. With like, I know you talked about this. You want to do face. you want to do the 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 anti much love. Yeah. Much love. Um, but yeah, I need a, I need a hoodie because you know like sometimes in the nighttime. It gets, it gets a little, cold. It gets a little chilly, dude, you know? You I know. So you might as well just get a hoodie, man. I'll hook <laughs> you up, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got you. Are you excited for the summer? I'm excited for the summer, yeah. I, haven't, I feel like we haven't played a show in so long. Yeah, I, I already feel rusty, and we haven't even hit the stage yet. Even though we've toured so much, I still feel rusty. Do you have... um? like a new guitar style that you're bringing out for this new record? I might. I Ooh. might. What about gonna, new guitar picks? I'm going to do new guitar picks, too. Sweet. Yeah. That's I don't, uh, yeah, but new guitars, absolutely. Talking to Ernie Ball right now, get, get some, uh, some fresh shit. Yeah, Thank I'm you. always jealous that I can't, I mean, I have, like, guitar picks, but I don't know how to play guitar. Uh, you still have, you still have bags of Tevin picks, don't you? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna like. I think I'm just gonna start throwing my own guitar picks, even though I don't play guitar. So I have something from me. Why to... don't you do that? You should have picks that you throw out. Pretty I funny. think it's genius. I back it. I'll get them made for you, dude. Uh, somebody asked how many new songs are on the record. Can we say that at all or no? Um, or should we keep that a secret too? A lot of songs. <laughs> a lot of songs. It's, it's more it's more than what is typically on an album. Okay. Yeah. Is that kind? Yeah. Yeah. It's more than an EP. More yeah, it's more than an EP. It's a it's full, a full album. album. It's a full album's worth of songs. Yeah, that's exactly it. What'd you do? Splinter. You have a splinter? Hi from Argentina. Hi we gotta go back to Argentina, dude. I know. We need to start looking at some of these comments and, and get into it. Okay. Right, we're gonna try to answer some questions without like we don't want to be like super vague but we obviously can't say a ton of stuff about it yeah. um, we gotta keep it a surprise yeah what was the inspiration for this album that's a great question that's um, a great question yeah so i'd say uh for us as a band you know like this is how many albums is this for us by the way i should know i that. don't even know this is, is, is my this is my f third fourth record third record with the band yeah i think I don't know how many albums the band has. Yeah, I'd say um, for us, I think that this record, the inspiration really was just kind of like the last couple years of our lives. Um, just kind of all like thrown together, like different emotions and stuff that we were going through. We went through like a lot of good and bad things, I think, in the last couple of years. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of like professional changes as far as like people we worked with and switching to like new management a different label we tried like the major label thing and and did all that and i think just kind of like we toured a lot last year so that was kind of hard too like being away from home from family uh being in a band for so long just kind of having just like i guess growing pains and i think really finally tapping into like who we really are i think we me and nick remember this because we had uh, a concert. I, I don't remember where we were. It was in the middle of America somewhere. And we walked off stage and it was like a rock concert and we, a rock festival. And we walked off stage. And we played like all of our like heaviest songs because we were up against like, I think Of Mice and Men was playing that day. Yeah. And, and um, like Hailstorm was playing that day. So we played like all of our fast, heavy songs. And we walked off and I just remember us both being like, man, I think that our band just does really well when we play stuff that's more of the rock caliber of music and yep. so without being like intentionally like let's go make a heavier record we just kind of went into the studio and 
just threw out some bands that we really love and enjoy and started writing these songs. And then all of them kind of fell into place. And <laughs> listening back to it, it is a really, really heavy album, but it's still really melodic. It has really, really great choruses. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone was asking us to do a heavy record and it's not necessarily what swayed us to do it, but we just went in there and that's what came out. And it is damn heavy. So you guys have no idea what you're gonna get if it is heavy. Yeah, I thought um, what was cool about going in the studio is that we didn't have the intentions. I remember that um, our management said, hey, you know, Zach's got a couple days free if you guys just wanna get in and just like write something. Like we had no intentions. It was just like, see what happens, like grease the wheels. Yeah. And I remember like those first like two or three days, like five or six songs yeah. came out. And I, it felt like that was like, that was the moment that we realized that, I think it was the moment that you realized that you had like a lot to say, that there was so much yeah. that happened over the last few years that it was also just the right time, the right place to just, to like get it all out. So let it and, out. Yeah. Damn, and it all came out. And it's, Yeah, I it didn't feel forced at all, which is like, <laughs> I think that this record in particular is like the the first record of my career where I feel like everything just was really, really natural. Like, I feel like everything that I'm saying, I believe, like I can get on stage and, and sing all these songs and really feel the emotion behind it because it's how I was really feeling. Um, you know, I've talked to a couple people about it with our last record, you know, just like playing songs like Legends. Like I was like last year in particular was like one of the lowest, darkest points of my life. So I had a really hard time going up on stage and singing songs like Legends because I didn't feel that positive yeah. energy in me. So it yeah. felt like I was being a fraud, you know? Um, yeah. In this new record, there's a lot of dark themes to it, but there's always that kind of like light at the end of the tunnel, which is something that I think our band has always kind of done, you know? Absolutely, um, yep. As, as much as it is dark and there is thoughts that go through my head with depression and anxiety and things like that, um, you know, our thing is always that we want to like, we want to let you know that you're not alone and that there's hope and that you're not going through any of these things by yourself. Um, you know, because I, when I was feeling that, what one thing that really helped me and saved me was knowing that, number one, I had my band that was always behind me and looking out for me. And then I had you guys, you know, our listeners, our fans going through things and telling me that I wasn't alone. So this is kind of us giving that back to you guys, you know, um, especially for me personally, so. Well, I'm proud of you, dude. I tell you all the time. I like I text this dude <laughs> all the time, telling him how proud I am, and I know that this record definitely. Copeland. Hit, you know. Copeland. I'm proud of him for yelling at Copeland right now. Come find the dog. <laughs> My dog. Ran off. You lose your dog. <laughs> I think she went. Oh, there she is. Can you just make sure she stays over here? She's right there. Um. Yeah. In any sorry. event, I'm pr I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. it. I just pulled out yeah. a splinter and I got a Jolly Rancher. You got a Jolly Rancher? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Damn, I love Jolly Ranchers. It was cool though, like, um, just listening, you know, listening back through like the final mixes the other day and just sending that group text to our team, you know, to MDDN and to you guys and just being like, man, everyone should be so, so proud of themselves for this record yeah. because everyone just, just came in and killed it. And I, I just want to say thank you to you and the rest of the band for just kind of like having faith in me to go in there and really write what I was feeling. And I, I think that you guys uh, were a big part of that because there's some times where I was pretty vulnerable in there. Of so. course. Well, I love you, dude. I love I'm you, too, time. man. And I'm stoked. I'm really proud of you. And I'm fucking ready to release this damn thing. Yeah, me too. Very excited. Too. Um, somebody asked if there's going to be some new Anthem Made stuff. And for me right now, like, I my main focus right now is obviously this record and this band and then I also kind of started a little development company where I'm working with a couple artists and I'm I'm really kind of passionate about that right now helping young bands and young artists music whatever have you just kind of like grow and and get themselves out there because I feel like that's something that I've always kind of been inspired by and um so that's that's kind of my focus right now so You should find me man Sign you? Yeah, sign me, I dude. Love you. I'm looking to do a solo project, so if you want to sign me, man. Just to be like a motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Sign me to be a motivational speaker. It's perfect. Um, people are asking if we're coming to their country. 
And the answer is yes. We're going uh, everywhere. We are going everywhere. You can expect a lot of Sleeping With Sirens tours uh, in the next probably year and a half of our lives. We're yes. going to hit every place that we can. So, Absolutely. 100%. We are going everywhere. I saw more, I saw more tour dates today. And damn, we are, we're going everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. We, are. we are going everywhere. So prepare yourselves. We're coming. That we're not going to space. Although I would love to be like one of the first bands to play in space. I'm, I'm not going to rule it out. I'm going to hit up Elon. <laughs> we're going up. <laughs> hit him up, dude. Hit up Uncle Elon, dude. Yeah, Uncle Elon. We want to play in space, baby. Yeah. Texas, definitely. Definitely going to Texas. Yeah. Do you guys miss the old stuff and albums? I mean, there's a special place in our hearts for all of our music. So I don't think that we miss it because we, we were there, we made it, created it. And I think that, you know, there's definitely going to be a time and place where we can go back and revisit some of those songs and play some of them. Um, I don't know when, because I feel like we're going to be so busy with this new record that that's probably going to be our focus right now. But we do like stuff. I was listening back, actually, to I was listening to Madness the other day and just thinking about how great that record was, too. I love that record. Me, too. I feel like I feel like there's a there's similar um like vibes and like there's different sounds obviously with working with zach and with him doing madness and him doing this record there's um there's some uh, continuity there i don't know i can't like pinpoint it but there's like elements from madness that i feel like are on this record too yeah well we also have to talk about mr matt good doing four tracks on this record as well my boy you guys don't know matt good. good matt good is pretty much the founder and the reason that there was a band called from first to last and he produces a lot of albums he does a lot of asking alexandria stuff and he just so happened to be at mddn um working with hollywood undead and i popped in there because we you know we've toured before and we've been friends for a long time and i was, I was in like, a band with him oh yeah and you're in a band with him and drugs <laughs> yeah i forgot about that yeah. oh my gosh um and you know he just was like Hey, what are you doing tonight? And I'm like, not, not really anything. He's like, you want to do a song? Sure. So we did one song and we loved it so much that we went in and did three more. And I, I'd say that at least two of those songs are probably my favorites on the record. Yeah. I feel yeah. you on that. His songs, like, I, I don't even know. It's hard to not, I, I'm going to have given away too much. So I better not say a yeah. whole lot about it, but they are standout tracks, dude. They're, yeah, it's they got are. that, it's got that Matt Good sprinkle on them. It just, they're damn good songs. Yeah, for sure. Um, what else? Um, well, you and I talked on the phone earlier. We talked about Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, want to talk about it. That seems to that. be kind of our, it takes over your life, huh? That show. It does. Just a couple more weeks, dude. Two more episodes, right? Yeah. Yeah, two more episodes, and then I'm going to put all my Game of Thrones costumes away and no, man. You know what we're going to do? You and me, we're going to rewatch it from the very beginning, man. We're going to start it up this summer, dude. We're going to start season one, episode one. We're going to rewatch that shit. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Uh, someone asked, have we seen Endgame yet? And no, I haven't. So please don't tell me. I've been, I've been waiting. Can to I spoil it? I need to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it right now, dude. No, don't, don't, don't. I really want to go so see good. that movie. I'm a huge fan. And um, I've just been so busy lately that I haven't been able to go see it. So I know I'm like super late. I'm being that guy right now. But. It's so good. It's really, really good. Yeah. There was like, there was people that were sobbing in the movie theater when I saw it. Like, yeah, I know, I, know so, I know some mofos are going to die, dude, but I don't want to know who. Okay. 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 I won't say a word. No spoilers. Okay. Cool. Chile. We're definitely going to come back to Chile. Fuck yeah. I love Chile. Our last show there was crazy. Yeah. For sure. Is Gabe in here? G says Gabe, you sounded offended. Is Gabe in here? Gabe's in here? <clears throat> yeah. Has he sent a request? You should throw Gabe in the mix. Can you do that? Can you do that with more than one person? No, it'll boot me. But you, you can throw, Gabe can take. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I don't think he's in here. Someone said something about Gabe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was All a different points... Gabe. All points east. Are we looking forward to it? Fuck yes. yes. Absolutely. I can't wait to watch Bring Me the Horizon. Cannot wait to watch Architects. Yep. There's Scar Lord. It's going to be fucking awesome. I can't, I can't wait. wait to watch Idols. You know I love that band. You do. You do love Idols. 
And then you're the one that showed me, um, who's the other band? I always screw up their fucking band name. Thieves? Uh, Nothing but Thieves? Yes, I always want to say Thicker Than Thieves. <laughs> thicker Than Thieves. That's their sister band, dude. It's all their sisters. Oh, uh, okay. That's why I get it mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah it'll be fun. We need to go to Gainesville, Florida. Okay, we gotta go to right. next. I'll come. Up, I'll come to your house in Gainesville, Florida. If you've got some dope cereal there, you know I'm like a big cereal fan. So if you've got some cinnamon toast crunch, some tricks, you got some cocoa you pebbles. Are the, you are the cereal boy, dude. Yeah, I'm there, dude. <clears throat> are there any bands we want to see at Warp Tour? Yeah, I want to see the Starting Line. Really, really bad. I want to see Andrew WK. I love Andrew WK. And I want to see Blink One Eight Two because I've never seen them live. What? I've never seen Blink live. Serious? Serious. I haven't seen the new Blink, so it'll be new for both of us. Hang on a second. I'm walking over here because my dog has escaped again. Dog! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh-oh. We're losing you guys. Nice. Oh, God. I'm running out of Wi-Fi. I'm back. Okay. Um, I have to go shortly. I have to pee really bad. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, it seems like a lot of people have left because they got bored with us talking about Game of Thrones or something. Okay. Anyway, so. all, right. all right. Sorry. Sorry for boring you guys. It's all good. Hey, but I just want to say to everybody on here that we love you and we're really excited to show you okay, new music. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll, we'll be revealing things very shortly. So stay tuned and can't yeah. wait until you get to hear it. That's all I can say. Uh, yes, I can't wait. Peace out. Peace, guys. Bye-bye.